this is going to be window hang and ladder bail. What's the importance of it? Why do we need it? If we look back January 23rd, 2005, right, six of our brothers in FDNY, they had to make a decision that morning at 8 something in the morning. They had to make a decision. Do they stay in that environment or do they jump 50 feet to the concrete? The question we have, no one can ever quarterback that. No one can ever say, well, if I was in that position, what we could say is, was there any other way? If I was hanging out that window, is there any other way that I could delay that time just a little bit more until another brother or sister can toss me a ladder on side Charlie, right? And the, and the answer is yes. The answer is yes, we have the ability to do an efficient and effective window hang. We have the ability, one of those windows, three of those guys had to share one window. What ended up happening? is the six fell, two of those brothers died that day, one died a little bit later, right? The fact of the matter is, guys, is we have the ability to hone our skills and be able to efficiently do in a window hang, but not only that, it's how do we actually get that ladder to those brothers? How do we go ahead and transition down? How do we do an effective ladder bail? And that's what we're gonna work on. The whole point of this is we're gonna escalate this. You may very well be very efficient and effective in your window hangs, maybe not, maybe you've never done one. We're gonna start you, we're going to give you those techniques and then we're going to ramp it up a little bit. By the end of the day, what you're going to be doing is unassing this building as quick as you possibly can on belay, all right? And you're going to be waiting for one of the brothers in this group to run a ladder around side Charlie and go ahead and get you off. And that's where we're going to get. That's, where we're, that's the point at which we're going to get, all right? Um, I don't know if any of you uh, obviously have rigging. Um, if you do, if that's something that you want to try out a little bit later on, we can go ahead and do so. What we're going to do now is obviously go with that if we don't have the ability to go ahead and deploy our uh, internal harness or anything like that. Uh, so with that being said, let's go ahead and just talk a little bit about what we're focusing on here with the window hang. So when we talk about the window hang, what do we typically think about when someone says a window hang? What happened that day is everyone's like, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and hang, right? I'm going to hang with my fingertips. How real is that? You're fatigued, you're exhausted, you've already been through hell, and now what you're trying to do is hang with your fingertips. It doesn't work, and we all know that. What can we do? We can use our larger muscles. We can use our larger muscle groups to go ahead, use the crevices in our arm and our leg to actually connect into that window, and we can go ahead and provide um, a, a longer hang. What we do is we go ahead and we give you um, realistic sashes here. Another thing that is a fallacy or a training scar that we see often is we'll go ahead and we'll come up and training and come to that window and we'll go ahead and we'll pop, right? Anyone can break glass. That's not a big deal. But let's go ahead and talk about that vinyl sash a little bit. If it's a 1960s, 1970s home, we have those wood sashes, probably not a big deal. But now when we have those vinyl sashes, you need to give it a little bit of a swing, right? That's all technique. That's all purposeful movement. What we don't want is we don't want you in a, in a bad situation where it's a pre-rapid fire event or whatever may be the case, and you're trying to get out, and your muscle memory is telling you to pop, pop, pop. That makes no sense. That's missed moves. That's not purposeful movement. What is, is today you're going to be taking these sashes. It should be an over the top, bring it down. You know damn well the glass is coming with it. The one thing that you have to tackle is right there. And so today I want you to be purposeful and take that sash and clear that window out and then go ahead and get out. So with that, Chris is going to go ahead and take that sash and just kind of start from the very beginning. Go ahead, buddy. Okay, so we clear that window out, right? Breaking all the window, clear the whole, clear the whole sash, especially where your belly's going to go, all right, on your arm. So now we're at that point. We cleared that window, we're ready to get out. One thing you need to keep in the back of your mind, a lot of people are like, do I take my tool out, do I not? The one thing you're focused on in this situation is getting the best part of you out of the ideal H. And not only that, let's actually use that flow path to our advantage. A lot of times when you have obviously one opening, that's going to want to equalize natural physics. You're going to have 50% intake and 50% exhaust. Why don't you be on the 50% intake side, right? So with that, if you can go ahead and your whole thought process is when I go ahead and I take that window, I'm staying down, but then as I go ahead and I transition out that window, I'm going to stay on the bottom 50% of that whole thing. So with that, he's going to go ahead and shoot it. And what I mean by shooting the window is as you come up, your whole goal is when you come up to essentially belly across that window sill. Um, it, this sounds silly, but the way, I, the way I picture this thing is, has anyone ever been to SeaWorld? No? Maybe? You've never been, have, you know about Shamu? You got to know about the damn whale, right? All right, so Shamu would go 
go ahead and he belly up onto that uh, beach, flip his tail, all that silly shit, right? The fact is, that's what you need to do. You need to belly up on that sill. What we tend to want to do is when we come up, obviously conditions are bad, we tend to go ahead and we come up on the sill like this and we go to get our leg up. Well, the problem with that is you're taking thermal insult for however long it takes you to negotiate that window sill. This is actually a pretty high one. So with that, every time you're doing this, you're getting, you're getting burnt. You're taking that thermal insult. So instead, change that procedure to when you come out, your goal is to shoot whichever side your dominant side is, whether it be right or whether it be left. For me, if I shoot right, what I'm gonna do, my goal is to shoot out and to get that uh, sill right on my waistline. At that point, if you think about that, even if everything else doesn't go the way you essentially want it to, the best part of you is now out of the ideal H and the best 50% of that window has to offer, okay? So when we go ahead and shoot that, we wanna go ahead and we wanna try and transition our, uh, our um, waistline to that point. So Chris, can you get me to that point? So right here, again, 50% in, 50% out, give or take, right? Maybe 60, 40, either way. Best part of him is out right now. Now it's just a matter of transitioning and sustaining that hang. What he's doing, if you notice, as he shot, he's shoulder checking this upright. He has his shoulder in there and he's using this crevice and all he's doing is taking this arm around and he's locking that crease of his arm right into the window. That's the first large muscle you're using to sustain that hold. At this point, all he's gonna do with your air pack on, that higher center of gravity is automatically gonna allow you to roll out. All you need to really do is make sure it doesn't make you roll out too fast or too far, right? So what he's gonna do is he's gonna take that first leg, he's gonna kick himself in the ass. When he kicks himself in the ass, he immediately takes it over that top upright. Now he needs that second large muscle group to connect, and that's right here in the crevice of your leg. Now he's got his hamstrings, he's got his biceps, and if you look at the position he's in right now, he is not taking as much thermal insult as if you were to try and negotiate that window trying to get up there. It's a simple shootout, and you're in, you're in the position you're in. Another thing to think about a purpose, purposeful movements is where do we wear our radios at, right? Do you wear it on the left? Do you wear it on the right? Do you wear it on a strap, or do you wear it in the pocket? What he has the ability to do right now is he has access. He's got a free hand now. He has access to get to that radio, hit his pass, whatever may be the case, to go ahead and signal for help. At that point, when a firefighter comes up, and they go ahead and scoop him with that ladder and he can transition out, which we'll get to here in a moment. But as you notice, all this talking right here, he can sustain this hang for quite a while. This is a pretty narrow window for the most part. Um, so we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll talk about how we can negotiate bigger windows with a couple of us. Uh, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how big you are, how tall you are. You can negotiate, I promise you, you can negotiate any window. And the fact of the matter is, you have no choice. We have no choice, right? We, have, we can't pick or choose these types of windows. What we can do is we can say, you know what, I'm gonna work to the narrowest possibility I can. And if I'm given a window like that, awesome. If I'm given a window like this, I can still take care of it, all right? So the biggest take homes for this is when you go ahead and come up, naturally you're gonna wanna come up, don't come up. I want you to go ahead and I want you to shoot, belly up like Shamu, now it's in your head, I know it is. Now you're picturing that damn whale. I want you to go ahead and belly up on that sill, shoot the gap, hook, kick yourself in the ass, roll around and go ahead and hook in, all right? Um, what I do want you guys to do is if you don't mind, six of you, go ahead and grab a radio. And here's the reason we're doing this is because everything that we do, we want to do purposeful, right? We want to do like we normally do. There's absolutely no reason why we should create a fallacy or we should add a fallacy in. Um, so Chris has got a radio strap. If you have one, let's take that minute or two to go grab it. If you don't, no big deal. We'll have you wear uh, the one that we've got. We're just gonna get this technique down, nothing wrong with repetition. We're gonna keep this sash out for the moment and all we wanna do is work on technique. Everything that we say and do, nothing's gospel. The fact of the matter is it's just stuff that we've learned. If you have other ways of doing it, please, this is the platform to try it. But we also want you to try um, the ways that we bring up as well. Uh, so again, a few, few, few key components when you shoot, shoot low. Try and go ahead and take this upright with your shoulder. What I always focus on too is when I come up, I try and, I try and punch out. When I punch out with my arm, it naturally rolls my shoulder down, which helps me actually transition out the window. 
So uh, in and, and roll out, try and punch the side, and it'll take you right out. You, you punch in left or right? All right, bro. So what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and give you, I'll give you 50 right now. So I want you to stay below this line. Punch out. Go ahead. Do your thing. Good. Now kick yourself in the ass. Good. Lock in. Lock in. Good. So stay right there for a moment. So now what we have, good transition. You stayed pretty low. Again, a second, two, ten seconds in that environment. Not a ton of thermal insult, right? But if you're in one of those positions where you're negotiating, that's a problem. So now you're in a position right now. Can you go ahead and gain access to your radio? Mayday, mayday, mayday. Perfect. So you're calling a mayday out here. What's the reason you're not calling a mayday in there? Get out of the environment. That's it. That's it. Why? If you can get yourself in a position where you can sustain a hang, why would you take the time, if you're making a decision to go out, why are you making the time to go in there when you can go ahead and easily do it out here? Now, if you chose to go ahead and come out and hang with your fingertips, yeah, you're, it's, it's game over at that point, right? But this affords you that ability. There's a reason why I'm talking, I'm having you hang like this, all right? So now, what you're doing is you're keeping everything locked in. He can sustain this for quite a while. Another thing you can do is where is your pass sit? Can you go ahead and hit your pass alarm, right? Bang on the side of the house, whatever may be the case. Take one of the chalks out of your pocket and chuck it at someone who doesn't even see you. Whatever the case, you're sustaining that hold. Beautiful. All right, you can transition out. Good work. All right, so now what you, you did that flawless. I want you to go ahead and throw a pack on now, okay? All right, we got everyone to pack on. Now what we're gonna do is I wanna throw a couple more elements into it. One of them is obviously to help us buy some time to negotiate this. We wanna get that door closed if we have a door, right? Unfortunately, um, that day, 2005, those boys, they tried to shut that door. It was an illegal tenement, obviously, and not only that, they had transom windows over top of those doors. Those transom windows gave way and obviously allowed for that flow path. But you still can't depend on that. What you wanna do is you wanna see if you can get a door. It happens to be in here, there is a door. So what I want you to do is I want you to go in here, start where, where Chris is. I want you to quick shut that door and unass it and hold. I'll go ahead and tap on you when you go ahead and transition further out, okay? I want the next person ready to rock. And we'll just go ahead and we'll get through here and get some, uh, get some hangs in. So who's first? Drywall. All right, so get down low, get, get to that door, close that door. Quick, 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 quick. All right, here's the window. Get out, get out, get out. Shoot it, shoot it, shoot it. Lock in, lock in, lock in. You got to lock in. Call a mayday. Get on that radio. Mayday, mayday, mayday. All right, good. Hop out. All right, brother, get in with Chris. Go ahead. Good job. Good transition. Let's get it. Let's get out. Shoot it. Shoot the gap. Shoot the gap. Stay low. There you go. There you go. Lock in now. You'll be hanging there for a bit. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Interior crew, firefighter backs up inside the building, hanging from the window. Beautiful. Look at this. Everything going in, that intake. Best part of him, he's going to get some insult on the arm and the leg. Not a big deal at this point. Good job. Go ahead and come out. Well done. All right, let's do it. Shoot it. Shoot it. Stay low. There you go. Beautiful. Beats hanging with your fingertips. Lock in now, lock in. Can you lock in just a little bit more? Good. Again, this little short uh, term, you can go ahead and hold with that calf. The problem is if we let you sit there for a little while because that truck isn't coming by with the uh, ladder, you're going to have to lock in with that crevice and that crease. What that does is transition that hold from the calf to the hamstring. If you're holding mid shaft of that uh, calf, you're using a lot of that muscle. Use the bigger muscles. Bicep. Hamstring, you're golden. All right, good job. Nice work. Thanks. All right, next up. So we're going to go ahead, add a couple more elements now. Now you got to square it away. You've got that process. Now what we're going to do is add a sash. I want you to take that sash, some aggression, clear that window. I want to see if you can put a goal in your head. I want to see if you can get to the point of controlling that door and giving me an outside hang within 10 seconds. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
Clear it. Nine, 10. Get out, get out. Get out, don't forget your steps. Good, lock in, call it, call it. Get someone there. Good. All right, brother, get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Get up, shoot it. Nice, lock nice it, steps, lock, lock in. Beautiful. Perfect, good transition. Six, seven, eight, nine. Good, good shoot, good shoot. You guys are smoking it. That's exactly what you need to be doing. We need to get to the point where everything is muscle memory. You've got now a tempo. That's it, that's it. Nice, good work. All right, I'll disconnect at this point. Get it out. All right, get out there. Make sure there's a, there's a ladder there. There is, hook two, grab four. Do it, do it, do it. Now. Okay, and just let your body go down. Again, same one, now come down to that one. Your arm is gonna catch you, don't worry. Now go down one more. There you go. All right, you ready? Lock your toes on this sill. I'll tap the bottom of your foot and then you just lock them down each rung, all right? That's all right, good attempt, there you go. Get it now, come on. You got a window, you have no idea, clear it, clear it. There you go, with a purpose, clear with a purpose. All right, belly up, belly up. Awesome, you got a ladder, head first. Let's get down, best part of you is out now. Hook, hook, very good. Now I want you to, real quick, take your arms away. Take your arms away. There you go. Well done. That's a true hook. If you were exhausted, shit didn't go right, you know at least you have another point and you're not going to ask for teacups. Again, fellas, the worst thing is to do a beautiful bail, but yet you fall off the ladder. You don't need to stop. You don't need to stop. Real time. So you need to clearly go ahead and call for what's needed. They're gonna grab that ladder, run it over you to do the proper scoop, what's needed, and then transition out, all right? The one thing to keep in the back of your mind is when you transition from a window hang, what you just did right here was a hook two, grab four, and a head first, because you came out on the sill. If you're already hanging, you're already hooked. You don't need to hook, does that make sense? So what it is is when you're hooked, when that ladder comes up, Depending on your span, you can grab two or grab three, whatever you want, and now you're in a position where all you do is transition. You don't need to go down and hook anymore. So you're already hooked, grab, and then just simply rotate around. Cool? Awesome. Hanging? You're fine, you're fine. Hey guys, I'm hanging, you do the ladder to me, right? I can come down here, transition, if you can slide, you can slide, or just come down on the rug, okay? Yep, you got it. So you're gonna, you're gonna wrap, you're gonna hook, and it's gonna be right in the crotch of your arm, but you're not grabbing anything. This is just, well, if here, it's just keeping you on the ladder. From there, you're going down, and this is what you stiff arm and rotate around. All right, buddy, so you get down from a lower level. If you wanna hook in just so that regulator doesn't break off. All right, bro, step by step, belly up on it. Make sure there's a ladder there. Want a hook? Go down the crotch of that arm. There you go, now just keep walking down. Walking down, one more, one, there you go. Now go in the middle. There you go, beautiful, beautiful. Remember, fellas, that grab has to be in the middle. If it's left or right, it's gonna cause that ladder to go left or right, great job, awesome. Yep. Once they get a ladder to you, just transition out. Make sense? Yeah. Key is, you're gonna get to that door, close that door, you're gonna take this sash. Purposeful movements, every swing, because remember, you're exhausted. You're at the point now, it's fourth quarter. It's ready to rock, it's overtime at that point. Everything is purposeful. Close that door, get here, strike, clear it. I'll get you hooked up, get out. All right. Do your thing. No. Uh -huh. 
kick your ass, kick your own ass. Swing it over. You got it, buddy, you got it. There it is, catch it. All right, he's got it coming now. Good, lock in, lock in. You might be here for a little bit.